Good afternoon. Today we will be doing chapter 2, part 1, Nature of Proposition. Now in this picture you can see the three words, crane, big, the. When these three words are arranged in a particular order to give meaning to those words, then it becomes a sentence. For example, the big crane. So, sentence means a group of meaningful words. There are different kinds of sentences. The first is interrogative sentence. This kind of sentence contains a question like how, why, who, what, when and where. Now, let us take an example. What is your name? Where do you live? How are you? Then we come to the second type of sentence that is exclamatory sentence. This kind of sentence expresses feelings. Now in this picture you can see that he has won a race and he's saying I finally won a race. So he's expressing his feelings. I won, I won. So this is a expressive sentence or exclamatory sentence. Let us take an example. Oh God, there is a time bomb. So he's expressing his feeling that there is a time bomb. Hooray, we have won the match. Here he's expressing the feelings that he has won the match. And third, wow, what a good news. So he is happy with the news. And so he's expressing what a news, good news. So now we come to the third type of Third type of sentence is imperative sentence. This kind of sentence expresses command or order. You see that he is ordering the judge. So it's an order given by the judge or an, any authority. Example, attention or when the person says get out, get out. Or when a person says shut down the computer, then it is an order given by the person to the other person. Fourth is optative sentence. This kind of sentence expresses wishes, desires, urges. That is example, may God bless us all. I hope I score highest marks in logic. Third, I wish I can become a doctor. So, he, he, uh, she is expressing her wishes, urges or, or desires. So this type of sentence is an optative sentence. And we have fifth type, assertive sentence. It is a sentence which asserts or gives information about an existing thing in the universe. That is an individual, an animal, a city, etc. It may be either positive or negative. Let us take an example. Sri Narendra Modi is the pr present Prime Minister of India. So it's giving an information about Mr. Narendra Modi that he is the present Prime Minister of India. Second is the deer is not an ugly animal. So you're looking at the deer, he's telling that it is not an ugly animal. So it's giving information about the deer which is existing in this universe. Third is, this movie is worth watching. A particular movie is worth watching. So it's giving an information about the particular movie. So a proposition is a sentence which is either true or false. An assertive sentence declares certain facts of nature. So they are called as declarative sentences. And declarative sentences are only propositions. Rest are mere sentences. Because assertive sentence is either true or false. Sometimes the declarative sentences may be in the form of a question or an exclamation yet provides information. Let us take an example. First, do you feel you can fool me? This is a sentence but it conveys certain information. 
that you cannot fool me. So it is called a proposition. Thief, thief. This sentence also conveys that there is a thief. Means it is providing us with the information. So it is also called as proposition. Now we come to <clears throat> the conclusion that all sentences are not propositions. Only assertive or declarative sentences are called propositions. Only those sentences which are either true or false are called propositions. A proposition is a basic unit of logic. Propositions are the building blocks of an argument. An argument consists of premises and a conclusion. We already know in the first chapter we have studied both of which are in the form of statements or propositions. An argument is a group of statements or propositions in which one proposition is proved on the evidence of the remaining propositions. So one proposition is proved or established. So argument contains propositions because in an argument we establish our statement by giving evidences and this is possible only when we give information. Now we know what a premise is, a statement or a proposition which is given as reason or evidence to support another proposition. And what is a conclusion? The statement or the proposition that follows from the premises or the statement or the proposition which is proved or established is called a conclusion and premise plus conclusion is called an argument. Let us understand the difference between a sentence and a proposition. A proposition is expressed in a form of a sentence but it is not same as a sentence. The same proposition is expressed by different sentences. Let, let us take examples. First, in English we say this is a house. In French, we say, c'est a maison. In Korean, we say, igosan chibim nidam. In Marathi, we say, he ghar ahe. Here, a sentence may differ in different languages, but the proposition is same. The meaning remains the same whereas the words are different in different languages. A proposition is same in different languages. This is because a proposition refers to the meaning or content expressed in the form of a sentence. Proposition does not have physical existence, means it cannot exist on its own. It needs a medium through which it can express. And one cannot see it, touch it, but cannot even understand it if he does not know the language in which it is spoken or written. He will only understand it if and only if the language is known. Sentence is the medium through which a proposition is expressed. So proposition is different from a sentence. Let us see how. Sentence differs from language to language. A sentence when spoken is in the form of sound waves which reach the listener's ears and then he can understand it. Or it may be in a written form as a sign or a symbol on a surface. You can see on the surface of the PPT the words are typed. So a sentence has physical existence. We can see them, we can touch them. Now let us see the difference between the proposition and a sentence. It 
is a sentence which is either true or false. So, proposition is a sentence which is either true or false. Whereas, sentence is a group of meaningful words. And what a proposition does? It, con it is conveyed through a sentence. Whereas, a sentence is a medium or a vehicle through which a proposition is expressed. Then third, only declarative sentences are propositions. Your sentences express feelings, command, wishes, etc. are only sentences. Fourth, every proposition has truth value. It is either true or false, whereas a sentence does not have truth value. It is either correct or incorrect. Then fifth, a proposition does not have physical existence, whereas a sentence has. You can see it on the surface. Whereas a proposition's meaning is understood. Okay. Then sixth is, example, Taj Mahal is white. It is conveying something to you, information. So it's a proposition. Whereas, why did you take arts? This is a question. So it does not convey any um, means information so it is a mere sentence now we will understand the characteristics of a proposition first every proposition has truth value the truth or falsity of a proposition are called truth values what do you understand by this means a proposition is either true or false the truth value of a true proposition is true and the truth value of a false proposition is false the fact determines the truth value. If the proposition determines the facts, then it is said to be true. And if it does not determine the facts, then it is said to be false. What do you understand by this? Means if it agrees with the facts of nature, then it is said to be true. Let us see one example. Butter melts when heated. We always observe butter melting when heated. So it is a true proposition. If a proposition does not agree with the facts of nature, then it is false. Example, Mumbai is in Gujarat. This proposition is false because we observe that Mumbai is in Maharashtra. We will understand the second characteristic of a proposition. A proposition has only one truth value. That is, a proposition cannot be both true and false. Or in other words, it cannot be true and false together. Let us take an example. Grapes are black or not black. They cannot be both black and not black. Third, the truth value of a proposition is definite. A proposition has unique truth value. If a proposition is true, it always remains true. If a proposition is false, it will always remain false. That is, the truth value of a proposition does not change. It remains constant. Let us take an example. The earth is a flat disk. So, the above proposition's truth value has appeared to change. In reality, it has not changed. It was believed to be true due to ignorance. It was false and continues to remain false. Therefore, all propositions are sentences, but all sentences are not propositions. This is because... The propositions give information and to give information, we need group of meaningful words. But all sentences do not give us information. Only declarative or assertive sentences give us information. So they are called sentences. These sentences are called proposition. Rest are mere sentences. In this session, you have studied the meaning of a sentence, the types of sentences, then the meaning of a proposition, its characteristics and how a proposition is different from a sentence. Thank you.